Okay, drummers ask me why do I use different techniques, like why do I use push-pull and things like that. Okay, if I was trying to play this way, French timpani and using my fingers and my thumb, I'm playing a gig and I practiced with uh, Death Assembly last night and uh, it requires playing, you know, fast stuff. But I, I cut my thumb. <laughs> I was hammering away some snow and basically my, my hands got all hacked up a little bit because I didn't uh, have gloves. And uh, if I didn't lo know this... I wouldn't be able to play some of the things I was trying to do. I'm not just just a push pull, playing, holding with the uh, these two fingers here, this grip here, holding loosely, and doing accents and not even having any uh, thumb on the, the stick at all because this part of my thumb hurt. It was really hard to hold. So when I was playing a lot of ride stuff, I actually would. I had my thumb. See, my thumb is at the side here. So I'm actually changing my grip here. So this is one of the uh, pluses for drummers. People say, well, you know, you only play one way. You play, you know, guys learn how to play, you know, German grip like this. And they only know how to do sort of one thing. Well, if you do German grip and you want to turn to a tom, you just simply turn your wrist. You don't have to actually physically move your arms. The shortest distance to a drum. Okay, but if you're playing uh, French timpani here, see, oh, that hurts my thumb. So I start... Do push pull there, or or try to play with my thumb tighter up here and turn it. Try not to. But Joe Joe Tanafanador does a shake and vibration where you're turning the stick sideways. So it's like using all these little techniques. Like you know, this technique is hit the drums, but having the ability to play molar, okay, so if you don't play, if you can't play traditional grip at all, you don't even have the, the focal balance point of a stick, and you can't even get a, a simple, you know, pattern out, if you cut your finger on this part, your finger here, and you go to do a gig, you're forced to play like this. You need to learn how to hold the stick on another way. So this is, you know, drummers, I mean, you're playing and, you know, knock on wood, it doesn't happen to you, but, I mean, you cut your hand. So you're forced to play a certain way. Dave Weckl did a clinic one time and he had a big <laughs> thing around his thumb and he's, people asked him what one of the, you know, be benefits of playing, you know, while he was playing like this. He just basically put the stick in there and he couldn't, uh, he couldn't use his finger. I can't remember which finger it was, but he couldn't use his finger. So he just kind of used the stick. And the same thing as me, I'm using my thumb because it's cut here and it, it hurts to see if I got to get that area. So if I practice. There's no tension there because I'm using my fingers, but I'm also using the grip in here. I've, the thumb is off of the stick, so I'm putting... You can't see that there. I can't move the iPhone. That's one thing I don't like about the iPhone is it's hard to mount. So, but I show you guys really quickly. You know, geez, I hate the way this thing bounces on mesh heads. See there, my thumb's off. It's off. It's not even on. So, having the ability to you know strengthen the grip on your fingers on these two fingers here, I I play a lot of like that. When I hit the snare drum really really hard, that's my grip there. I loosen it in here. I don't ever choke it up on here because I put tension on here. So, those are a few of the bonuses of actually learning techniques <laughs> other than just hitting your drum. So, hopefully that uh, helps you guys. That's uh, That'll be my March blog for uh, 2011. Okay.